What is going on, everyone? I hope you were all having a fantastic day. So, if you're anything like me, then you might hate reading or just really don't care for it, but as someone who has read a lot of really great books, like the ones that we're going to talk about today, and has been forced to read some dry, awful finance textbooks in college, I can tell you that there is definitely a lot of value to be gained from reading. So, today we're going to count down my top five favorite personal finance books that will allow you to get your money habits right and start building wealth immediately. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's jump right in. Into it. Now, if you are in that no reading club, don't worry, you are not completely out of luck because I'll let you in on a little secret. I have read every book on this list, but I haven't actually read them, if you know what I mean. That's probably why this bookshelf is completely full and this bookshelf is completely empty. Instead, I use today's video sponsor, which is... I'm totally kidding, there's no video sponsor. But seriously, most of you were probably expecting me to say Audible, and in all honesty, I love audiobooks. And for every single book that I'm going to talk about today, I took the time to get the link for both the paperback and Audible versions. So, if you want to pick up any of the books that we're going to talk about on this list today, then check those out down in the description below, because there's links for both the audio and paperback versions. So, in no particular order, the first first book on our list is by the man, the myth, the legend, Dave Ramsey, and it would be his incredibly popular book, The Total Money Makeover. So if somehow you have been living under a rock and you have no idea who Dave Ramsey is, that would be this guy. It's absolutely moronic. I got a PhD in D-U-M-B. No, you don't understand. You're an idiot. And while he's now famous for his brutally honest radio show, his company and all the advice that he gives is based on what he calls the seven baby steps, which were first gifted to the world in 2003 in The Total Money Makeover. But lucky for us, the financial habits that cause people to win with money don't really change. So even though this book is almost 20 years old, these seven baby steps are more true today than ever. Now, I did an entire video explaining each of these seven baby steps, so definitely be sure to check that out if you want some more detail. But essentially, this book teaches you to stop accepting debt as being a normal thing, shows you how to get rid of it as quickly and efficiently as possible, and from there, most importantly, start building wealth and more importantly, living and giving like no one else. So if you need a ground floor step step-by-step -step guide on getting out of debt, then definitely check out The Total Money Makeover by Dave Ramsey. Next up on our list is going to be another classic that I'm sure you have heard of at some point, and that would be Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. This book does have a little bit of controversy around it, however, considering it sold over 32 million copies to date, I think it's fair to assume that the public as a whole has decided that this book is worth a read. The title in itself really grabs your attention and is the foundation of the entire book, since it's going to walk you through Kiyosaki's childhood and grow Growing up seeing his rich dad, who was actually his friend's dad, and his poor dad, who is his actual biological father. Now obviously, Kiyosaki loves both of these individuals, but the lessons that he teaches in this book are essentially what he calls the pathway to exiting the rat race. He believes that people let two emotions dominate their actions in regard to money, and that would be fear and greed, and I could not agree with this anymore. I mean, that's exactly why the average person believes that they need to do well in school so that they can get into a good college, so that they can get a good job and earn a good salary, when in reality, 90% of the people who are winning with money, and I mean really winning with money, that's really not the path that they took. Now, that's not to say that going to college and getting a good job is a bad path to take, because it's absolutely not. And I myself am just wrapping up my degrees, and I wouldn't have put in all that time and effort and money if I didn't see the long-term value in it. But it also goes back to those two emotions of fear and greed, because we are fearful of not having enough, and then when we do get a good, high-paying job, typically people become greedy and start buying things just to keep up with the Joneses, and that's probably why the average American family can't even afford a $1,000 emergency, despite the median household income being over $65,000 here in the US. So if you want to learn how to approach your financial habits emotionally and mentally, then you should definitely check out this incredibly popular book by Robert Kiyosaki, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. The next book is one of my personal favorites, and it's going to dabble a bit more on the investing side of things, and that would be Benjamin Graham's book, The Intelligent Investor. Now, a lot of you probably have absolutely absolutely no idea who Benjamin Graham is, especially if you haven't read this book, but he is probably the most successful and famous investor of the 20th century, other than one of his students who I'm sure you have heard of before, and that would be Warren Buffett. Yeah, you know, the guy who seems to own like half of everything? Buffett has said multiple times that The Intelligent Investor is the best investing book that he has ever read, and it's likely because this book gives you a simple approach to what's called value investing. This is where you focus on generating long-term profits by ignoring the get-rich-quick schemes and focusing on companies that have true long-term value, which is exactly how Warren Buffett made his cool 
plus billion dollar fortune. Now I will tell you right off the bat that this book is long and it does go pretty in depth, but I really can break it down into three main lessons for intelligent investing. And that would be analyze your investments for long-term potential, protect yourself from significant losses, and most importantly, don't go for the crazy profits. Or for my millennial viewers out there, don't buy call options on Bitcoin futures. Knowledge. So I wouldn't necessarily start off with this book, but once you have read the first two books that we talked about and have a general understanding and mindset of how to approach building wealth, then this is a fantastic place to get started when you're ready to take your investing to the next level. That brings us to number four on our list, which is The Millionaire Next Door by Thomas Stanley. This book focuses on the idea that you do not need to be the next Mark Zuckerberg coming up with some brilliant idea in your dorm room to win with money. The title itself suggests that everyday millionaires are all around us, and the way that they largely became a millionaire was not by buying fancy cars and big houses just to prove that they were a millionaire, but instead living a frugal and modest lifestyle. The Millionaire Next Door is going to show you the tried and true habits that you can implement in your day-to-day -day life in regards to your spending and saving that will allow you to win with money, and most importantly, show you the crucial mistakes that most people are making that you absolutely want to avoid. I know this might sound a little dry cut and simple, but again, these simple habits need to be deeply rooted within your approach to money, and they have to come first if you're going to succeed. You can learn how to invest and how to make all this money, but if you don't understand how to budget what you're making and win with the money that you have, then all of those other steps just aren't going to matter. So those four books alone are going to give you the mentality that you need to win with money, exact step-by-step -step formulas and plans that have really proven track records over long periods of time, and even an in-depth look at how to approach your investing goals. But I have to round up this list with another incredibly popular finance book that is my personal favorite, and that would be Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Now, instead of giving you a personal opinion or viewpoints on how to win with money, Napoleon Hill takes a very different approach in this book, as he spent over 20 years following and analyzing over 500 individuals who were winning with money, and used all of that data to determine the 13 most common habits of wealthy and successful people. Perhaps my favorite gem in this book is the use of what he calls auto-suggestion, which is essentially where you tell yourself over and over and over that your goal is possible to the point that every being in your body begins to believe that that goal is going to happen and you will naturally start to take small steps in your day-to-day -day life to get you just a little bit closer to that final goal. There's actually a lot of psychological studies on this idea that prove its effectiveness and this book goes into a lot of other tips on how to get your mind right with money. But by telling yourself day in and day out that you are done living paycheck to paycheck, that you are done giving all of your money to the banks in debt payments, and that you are done losing with money, then you really will start implementing actual steps in your day-to-day -day life that will allow you to change that and build a better financial future for you and your family. But it's all going to stem from your mentality, as the title suggests. Think and grow rich. You've got to think first. You've got to have a plan. You have to have the right mentality. But one day at a time, you will truly start to believe that you can win with money. And the unending research in this book shows that eventually you will. So those are my five favorite books on personal finance that have allowed me to get my mindset right with money and start implementing daily habits in my day-to-day -day life that I know will serve me well in the long term. Now, if you get through all five of those books and you still haven't had enough, then one last honorable mention would be the number one selling business book of all time, and that would be How to Win Friends and Influence People. Now, obviously, this book is not necessarily geared towards personal finance or investing, but it is an amazing piece of writing that shows you how to build a team, get people to join your cause, and most importantly, inspire those around you to work towards one common goal that is not self-serving but has a common good. So let me know what books you think I left off this list and what your favorite personal finance book is down in the comment section below. And remember, if you do want to pick up any of the books that we talked about today, then check out the description because there are links for both the audiobooks and paperback versions on Amazon for every single book that we talked about in case you want to start investing in yourself and your financial education to better your lifestyle in the long term. With that being said, if you did enjoy today's content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this with someone who you think could enjoy this video as well. And as always, thank you so much for your time. I seriously do appreciate it so much. Take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.